intention expressed by Madam Mapsekar that municipality may take a shortcut of incineration of the garbage. So we want some assurance from you that how the dry waste uh, also will be uh, processed. Uh, as far as official policy is concerned, mm -hmm. how the dry, dry waste will be processed. If wet waste, as Jyoti said, if each household takes care of the wet waste, then we will have it converted into a better wealth. In fact, converting entire dry waste and entire wet waste into wealth is our moral responsibility. And if we look at it from that point of view, I think each one of us will contribute to it. Thank you Jyoti for saying that what, how it can be segregated, how simple it is and how the weight waste can be converted either into uh, biogas or compost. Thanks for that. Uh, uh, after Mr. Yamgar speaks about how the dry waste will be, uh, is supposed to be processed with the help of uh, municipal corporation, each one of us will also contribute to that. And after he makes a, uh, uh, he talks about for about 30 minutes, we'll have question and answers on both the speakers and any other question that you may get in your mind. Thank you very much, Mr. Yamgar. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I request uh, Mr. Shenoy to please, uh, Mr. Shenoy, please come. Uh, on behalf of the waste picker activist and Money Life Foundation, I present the group to Mr. Yamgar. It has been already presented. Thank you. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Ashok Yamgar. I am working in SWO department, Solid Waste Management Department, since last three years as a Deputy Chief Engineer. First of all, we must know what is the waste. Waste is two types over there. One is created by the nature and created by the man-made. Nature is taking the whole responsibility of the waste, whatever created by the nature. Our human beings should take the uh, care of waste generated by the human beings. Uh, waste must be segregated at source. Initially, it was mentioned in the rule 2002, 2000, MSW 2000, that is the wet waste and dry waste. Now, the new rules are coming, wherein they have uh, they are in, in that rule, they have mentioned the waste must be segregated in three. One wet waste, dry waste and household domestic waste. Household so hazardous. Also, also hazardous. Do hazardous waste. As far as BMC is concerned, MCGM has provided the number of vehicles over there for collection of the wet waste, dry waste, even the hotel waste, market waste, sealed, whatever the remote. For collection of the market waste, hotel market, hotel, even silt removed from the roadside drains, debris which are dumping on the road also. We are take, we are collecting the debris in debris vehicles. Even though we are collecting green waste, whatever the tree trimming waste is created in the city separately. And in addition to that, biomedical waste from the hospital institutions, medical institutions, we are collecting it separately and process it separately. For wet waste, MCGM has not made any provision for the wet waste processing till now. But we are planning to install biogas plants. Biogas is Yes, sir. Biogas plants in each ward's office at 24 places plus head office and one is CTRC, Borivali where is the training center of the MCGM. We are planning to install 25 kg and 20, 50 kg as per the generation of the canteen waste, uh, generation of quantity of the canteen waste to go for 25 metric ton to 50 metric ton on the land which are owned by the solid waste management department there are, I have I have personally identified the three to four sites over there where we can install 50 metric 25 to 50 metric ton capacity biogas plants over there. In addition to that, I have also requested my additional municipal commissioner to call a meeting with other departments, sewerage operations, 
hydraulic engineers, hospitals also, where there is the land can be available for installation of the biogas plant for say about 5 metric ton, 10 metric ton, up to 25 metric ton. And recently in our F South, they have installed one small capacity of the biogas plant of say 5 kg per day. Even though they have proposed 4 metric ton biogas plant at TB hospital and uh, the proposal is in process and may get finalized within one or two months. It, they are also, they are also an, uh, another proposal, they are in initiating another proposal for 4 metric ton plant in TB hospital also. Since there are 8 metric in TB hospital, we are planning to install one bi uh, two biogas plant of 4 metric ton each capacity. This is the wet waste processing. As far as the project, a solid waste management project is not concerned with me. Even though corporation is planning to install the plants for the MSW processing in Talwaja and in Aeroli also. The land newly uh, handed over to the corporation by the government. That is the wet, pro wet, wet, process, uh, wet, wet, uh, wet waste processing. Then as far as the dry waste concern, in 24 hours we have already established 32 to 35 dry waste centers and in addition to that additional 35 dry waste centers are to be installed in this year. Further, I had made a uh, request to the all assistant commissioner also to identify the additional spots, additional lands, additional space for the dry waste centers so as to accommodate the collection of dry waste from the each and every wards by the rat pickers and to get the segregate over there. After segregation of the dry waste by the rat picker, the rat pickers are selling that dry waste to the direct recyclers. Means they will get some money from that only. We are the MCGM is not claiming the money from them also. We are also given the all types of facilities in that dry waste centers. Then uh, for green waste, we have installed one plant over there, pelletization plant in Enova, Sikova with uh, PPP base, I think the Messrs. Chanaki Institute, CIPL is there, he is operating that plant. The, the said firm is operating that plant and they are processing, they are accepting senior about daily 10 to 15 metric ton green waste at their plant, they are processing into the pallets and they are selling to the direct cement factories and whoever the users, end users over there. Then we have uh, also installed one biomedical waste treatment facility plant at Devonar, near Devonar dumping ground with uh, Messrs. SMS in Brooklyn on the basis of the 20 years period. They have installed their machineries, incinerated and autoclave machines over there for the treatment of the biomedical waste collected from all over the Mumbai. And they have the separate vehicles in here, about 52 vehicles they have deployed for collection of the biomedical waste. And they are charging that institutes for, as per the terms of beds. In this way, the corporation is taking the care of transportation of the all kinds of waste over there. But as per new rules, the third one, the third segregation that is the household domestic <coughs> hazardous, hazardous waste, MCGM, MCGM is planning for that, for collection of hazardous waste. But uh, that will take some time over there, just to have the meetings of the top officials. But instead of this, as per my opinion, you, the generation of domestic hazardous waste is as compared to the wet waste and dry waste is so small quantity. So you can transfer, you can uh, store, uh, you can deliver that type of waste to the nearest municipal hospital, uh, uh, medical institutions instead of keeping with you. That is on. That is my opinion. So thereafter, they can deliver to the BMW processing plants vehicle automatically. But before that, we will take the decision for the diesel. So at our top, with our top officials, 
and we will plan accordingly. Daniels, anything? No, as far as dry waste? Ah, dry waste. Ah, the disposal. If the all, all types of dry waste collected by the rag pickers, they came with the vehicles in the dry waste centers, they are segregating over there, they are selling directly to the recyclers. Just now I have submitted one proposal for appointing a consultant to prepare the DPR and suggest for the making the suggestion of the technology for the plastic waste disposal. Just to install one plant over there or anything else for plastic. Then for metal that goes to the directly over there in the recyclers. And for e-waste, electronic waste collection, we have established one center in K waste ward just now recently two months back over there. And we have made a we are in agreement with uh, Messrs. Eco Rico and they are planning to install such type of uh, e-waste collection centers in all over 24 wards. E-waste is there. Anything else left? No, what will be the official policy for segregation and uh, whether, whether those who do not convert the wet waste into compost, how will you collect it and where will you? Yeah. In 2007, we have already included a one condition in IOD that newly construction building should have a wet waste processing facility to install in their premises means automatically it means that the waste should be segregated over there wet waste should be processed in the premises and dry waste to the they are uh, they have to sell it to the direct recycler or kabadiwalas anything like that. recently we have received one uh, directions from the MOED department about uh, 20,000 square foot construction building they must and make it compulsory to uh, uh, install the wet waste processing plant over there by way of compost vermicompost by methanization anything over there just to process the wet waste in their premises only and for the segregations corporation has already formed framed their bylaws in 2006 and we are also appointed cleanup marshals for finding the defaulters who are not segregating the waste but as per the new rules 2016, it is if it is it is makes and compulsory for the generators to segregate the waste. That uh, we are also launching just within a few days the cleanup marshal scheme over there. And all our cleanup marshals will deploy in all 24 wards to watch for this waste segregation in each and its premises over there. Anything else? Just ask me the questions. I it will come, there will be questions and answers. After. Yes. yes. So, Question. I just wanted to know how the dry waste centers are uh, currently managed. Uh, dry waste centers are being currently, we are deployed rack pickers associations in the wards and through that uh, four to five rack pickers are, uh, are with one tempo. There are two tempos in the wards and there are about five to ten, uh, eight to ten rack pickers are there. They are collecting the rack, uh, dry waste over there and bring it to the private centers for segregations and there are sorting, sorting, sorting. for sorting for the for, for the segregation for the sorting, yeah. for the sorting you can tell senior what um, as per uh, my record daily 60 metric 60 to 70 metric ton dry waste being collected by the rack pickers with the help of our vehicles vehicles provided by the NCGM as far as as per um, um, the information received for, uh, at me in Mumbai there are about 1000 to 1200 metric ton dry waste is being collected informally which are not accountable by the corporation. In most of the corporate office they are segregating their waste but they do not give the dry waste to the vehicles also, in malls also. Have you quantified how much dry and how much wet are? Yes, yes, yes. Same, yeah. Same number at all? Yeah, yeah. To a generally daily. 100 tons, 1000 tons. Informal. Informal. Uh, that is not a figure. Just uh, scrap dealers, yeah, whatever. The recycler, he told me like that. He told me. Kabadiwalas. 
in our house also we are segregating initially newspapers we are kept aside plastic materials which are recyclable and having the good value we are kept aside. I am saying that when insulters correct, they have been, their payment is made by the weighing scale. That Which one? What is the municipal trucks correct separate waste? How much of that is collected by municipal weight waste driveways with their separate trucks? That's what I asked. Yes, but uh, the quantity of the driveways, after knowing the figures from the rack pickers only, I, uh, they are submitting their monthly records to the me about that one. And wet waste we are weighing at the uh, dump, uh, dump site over there, where the mixed waste also is there. So, will this keep separately? No, no. Uh, they are all over one. Business accounting. <laughs> no, no. Not separately. Wet waste is coming at the same time. See, and here about 6,000 metric ton. So, it's like mixed estimated figures. Estimated, estimated figures. Mixed waste. Mixed waste is there. Mixed waste is in that mixed waste. Say near about 150 tons are uh, thin plastic also is there, uh, which is not recyclable. That is whole our responsibility not to use the thin plastic in your day to day use and operation over there. Not to earn the thin plastic plastic from the vegetable vendors. Multi layers. That's why. That is the main. And in that way, it's uh, market waste. We are collecting, say, near about two, 200 metric ton. In hotel waste, we are collecting 287 metric ton per day. And in addition to that, are, during the festival season, Ganpati and Navaratra, we are collecting the Nirmal separately over there. And we are processing it and converted into compost. And uh, per annum, say, near about, in Ganpati festival, we are say, uh, collecting 700 metric ton Nirmal over there. That's why and we are also planning, I have submitted one proposal to process this Nirmalya separately per day by collect, by moving a vehicle in around the world for collection of the Nirmalya from house to house. So what about markets? So uh, instead of taking it all the way to the dump, what are you can easily have market waste projects like Yes, I also made a request to the assistant commissioner market to give me a space for installing the biogas plant of metric five metric ton yeah, two metric ton whatever the generation of the market waste in that premises that is uh, i have started this work since last two months over there how much time will it take for the first market to operate manat sir when most of your markets are karan mi majhya kadu 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 I am going to go to the next stage. But most of your markets are in the form of 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 the form the the but NCGM has to start the wet waste processing plant initially. Then so we will. You can have mobile composting bins right there. No? Mobile compost bin. Right, right there for to take. Yeah, nice idea you have. Any gentleman who has got a sir? Almost every household. Yes. Has a electronic waste huh? bin. Huh? Computer and other things very very. Yes, yes. All sorts of electronic waste bins have been and things like that. Hmm. How do we? Just now I told you that NCGM has in, uh, started the e-waste collection centers. In K-waste world, we have already installed one e-waste collection centers and uh, within short period we will go for another 23 hours also. Where you can deliver your uh, e-waste over there. Here in K-waste world, Opposite to Mithibai College. Opposite to Mithibai College over there. Yes. May I request everybody to wait for the mic, please? They are recording. Uh, regarding the ha hazardous waste like the diapers and sanitary pads, you suggested that we go to the nearest hospital. So does it have to be a BMC hospital? BMC. Or can it be any hospital? BMC, as well. This, this is my suggestion and my opinion. No, no, not no. NCGM's opinion, not no, no, NCGM's no, no. Any, any plan over there. No, no. So this is not, you are suggesting that we, or your opinion is that we should go to a BMC hospital? 
Yes. Or any hospital. No, no, BMC hospitals also, they are charging over there. That company is charging, taking the charge over there. That is my opinion. But that's so... That is not a plan by a corporation. Once again, I am telling you. It, that comes from my mind. Yeah, it's my wish also. So if you just go like that, they won't accept. Ah. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. Recently, Jyoti Madam had told no. <laughs> how to dispose of that diaper. <laughs> I have a question. Yes, Aditi. You know, if the citizen wants to do something in this, how can they do it? Huh? I have a question. If a citizen, like me, I want to make changes. And I want to go to a BNC and ask how I want to make changes in the waste management of my cooperative housing society. How can we do that? Corporate office, yeah, residential complex is there. Yeah, but my cooperative housing society is ready to do it, but I don't know how to do a waste management thing. How do I do it? Where is your uh, housing society over there? Uh, in Andheri. In Andheri. So why don't you contact? No, no, no. Uh, why, why don't you contact uh, assistant engineer the solid waste management of the KEAST? They, they will guide you. They the will guide office. you in the war office. They will guide you. If you require any further guidance, you may contact SMS also. Sri Mukti Sangatna, their system concern uh, companies are there, actors are there and other um, private NGOs are also working in the city. They are I'm handling. sorry to say that, but I have contacted Sri Mukti Sangatna. For the past one month, I have been trying for the person to come to our cooperative housing society to give a feedback to the committee saying that this is the process and nobody, every week the lady comes and calls me and tells me that I cannot come, I have something else to do. Yeah, so I don't know how this will happen. This is we have limited staff. And there's so no, no, why don't, then why, if you have a limited staff, why don't you suggest another company's name over there? One, Akar is there. I will give you number, the Akar. Akar, take down the Akar's number. He he is in Western Suburb, I think. So what I will suggest is, in your ward, you contact the assistant engineer environment and from him, take the guidance that how it can be done. Because if he, for example, now, because in the Western Suburb, he knows some other organization is giving that name, we will compile such names from Mr. Yamgar and then circulate it on uh, the website. But at the same time, the best thing to do is to contact your <laughs> engineer environment and ask that particular designation that how they you could process your waste in your society. Even though I make the appeal to the all, if there is a no response received from my colleagues and my office, my number take down the my number. You can contact me at any time. For 24 hours, my number is working with it. <laughs> and I am responding at an uh, yes. Really Even though in the meeting, yes. but no. I SMS you. I am in the meeting. I will call you afterwards. Take that Akar uh, Arundekar number nine double two double three two zero two zero three. You call him and tell my name. Nine double two double three two zero two zero three. Akar Milind Arundekar. And since we are making announcements, let me make one small announcement. All of you have seen this basket, the magic basket on Isadgadu. Uh, Jyoti Mapsinkar has been kind enough to bring 20 baskets of which 8 have already been booked. Each of these baskets costs 450 rupees only. So if any of you want to buy it, then her colleagues are going to fill it up with the uh, waste. So I've got one for you. Okay, you have one. So anyone else? Okay, so i get all of them done. Yes, four for you. <laughs> Is anything else? No. Is there any question for uh, Madam Bamsekar or Mr. Yadav? I yeah, forgot to I forgot to introduce him properly because uh, I thought that uh, there is less time, but now there is time. I will introduce him properly. He he is in uh, municipal service for last 30 years. He is deputy chief Chibin. engineer of solid waste management operations 
So most of the things that he has given you, he directly controls. Some of the things he cannot control, he has told you that uh, where you can. Uh, there is one more, uh, there are uh, more queries which we will be able to circulate through our website. Yes. For example, you talked about uh, construction and demolition waste, hmm. which is the phone number. You did not give right now. Yes, in no. construction and demolition, we have already started one debris on call service over there. What's the number? What's the number? One meter. Debris on call services, whatever the waste generated as a C and D, construction demolition, repairs to your own house. Garbuti Staravar J Kahi C and D Tire will be dikkat. Without any hesitations, you may contact. You have to contact war office assistant engineer, okay, uh, solid waste management, any of any ward. Just to call him and uh, inform the generation of the CND in your house. They will come over there, they will judge the quantity and they will charge you as per the uh, nominal rates over there, I think so. Uh, senior about contractor charging us 200 or 300 rupees per metric ton. Same way, by adding 15% supervision charges, we are charging you. And they will collect that CND waste over there. Do not encourage others, other uh, CND waste collector over there. They are dumping illegally on the road and we are, they are creating the most headache us for lifting them and creating the nuisance to the pedestrians also and vehicles also. Listen to their license. Mr. License and Dilipwala. MCGM has started this service over there. And as far as we have started this service in January or February 2014, Two years have passed, we, are, we have collected 29,000 metric tons of CND by this way and collecting the revenue to the corporation, saying there was 71 lakhs. What is the number of that central debris on call number? Debris on call, there are 24 numbers are there. In each ward, assistant commissioner. Even though in this case also, if you do not receive any response from the ward, just call me. Sir, can you also enlighten about the horticultural waste which is created inside the yes. society? In municipality, there are say near about a three not five gardens are there. Just one month back, I have received one information from the garden department. They have started their compost pits there uh, in the gardens for composting of the grass cuttings only. But we are the solid waste management. I have deployed a separate vehicle for collecting the green waste unclaimed, dumped by the citizens on the footpaths. Jasta kuru naal jay zhaavale ho gaya jasta cutting karta da na tarangi. Titi ke taata te ami gola karto ni te ami sikhao compound la. We will we are taking to the sikhao compound for further processing over there. Is that horticultural waste on demand like C and D and no no? Can pay and then no. take it from no, 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 no. Garden department has uh, floated one tender for two years period. They they have appointed a um, contractor, zone wise or wall wise over there. You have to contract, uh, you have to contact HA, Horticultural Assistance, or JTO, Joint Tree Officer, I think so, in the ward for uh, allowing to tree trimming in the in your premises. They are pioneer, you have to fear, you have to pay some fees over there. They are coming over there, they are self trimming over there and they are uh, removing that uh, waste also by themselves. By charging? By charging, I think so. But that, in this case, you have to contact HA, not SWM department. Means huh? garden department. Garden department. You have to, to, to contact garden department for horticultural waste, that is green waste. Oh, green waste. For tree trimming, for papa, getting the permission of the tree trimming. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever the unclaimed tree trimmings are uh, fallen are, um, on the road and footpaths, <laughs> we are lifting over there. Will you take the mic? Yeah, there are two things. One is uh, at the time of the DP discussions, we had suggested that you know that having that separate district ward wise, so has the provision for segregation ward wise has been made in the DP? Yes. Initially, I have told that 32 to 35 uh, driver centers are there in the ward. In, in addition to that, 
we also propose 35 additional driver centers and uh, which will be constructed within this year also. Means we have proposed, all assistant commissioner have proposed the space demarcation in the DP plan for SWM activities. Okay, but that is only for the driveways. Suppose there are buildings which are not able to take care, you know, old buildings and all that which are not able to take care of their wet waste. So for, for that also, to do it either ward wise or maybe zone wise. Yeah, I am planning one. Right. Just now I told you that I have identified 3 to 4 plots over there where we are installing 25 to 50 metric ton by uh, for wet waste processing plant also. And in addition, that is my efforts, my my section's efforts, even though uh, MCGM is also taking the efforts for processing of the wet waste even though mixed waste also in by installing the plant at Taloja and Aerolians. Next, next question is, has MCGM come out with a comprehensive plan now? Yes. For the entire thing, because we haven't seen comprehensive when we have met the various officials, we hmm. have got piece, bits and pieces. But there is no comprehensive plan. We really do not know what exactly BMC is planning with the new rules in mind. Is uh, there a paper available which we can have? No, not now with me. I am Yes. Uh, about the hazardous waste which you talked about, sanitary napkins, diapers, uh, you have uh, said that it's a very small percentage, but there is a very growing population of senior citizens and more and more people are using diapers. Besides, of course, uh, small babies, people are using more disposable stuff, so it's not a very small amount. Mm -hmm. And we have asked our board repeatedly what people are supposed to do with it. As they said, uh, nothing has been decided yet by BMC. If you like, throw it in the wet, or if you like, put it in the dry. Yeah, we are planning for that, for, for collecting of that one. We are planning for collection of the diapers over there. Yeah. And uh, we may dispose at our BMW plant over there. So we are we are under planning over there. What is BMW? Some other cities are biomedical waste. Actually, some other cities like Mangalore, from reading on the internet, they are giving a packet which is marked with a big red cross or something which they have decided on, so that the people collecting the waste will realize that this packet is containing something which is not clean. Who is going so to give that packet? So you have to, if you decide on something, we can. Request our residents yes. to do that. Yes. It's not difficult. Yeah. 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 Actually, in new rules which are coming to existence, it is clearly written Hello. that they should be put into paper, ah. paper, and then yes. all the manufacturers, this is the first time, it is known as extended producers responsibility, which is known as EPR, which ah. is there all over Europe, uh -huh. but it is not in our country. So the big companies and uh, multinationals who are obeying all these rules in Europe and US, they when they come to India, they don't do it. And it is also said in the rules that these companies should advertise now how this should be disposed of. They should put wrapped into paper and kept separately. And uh, the, all the manufacturers should, within one year, give a solution how they can have uh, eco-friendly uh, products. Because at present, in all the diapers now, they are using uh, plastic folds. So earlier it was cotton, so even if it is on dumping ground and if it is in the paper wrapper, it might be after some years it might be composted. But as the, there is a plastic foam inside it. But this is a, this is a change of attitude and uh, in the new rules that they have said something about hazardous things. First time this has happened. You have suggested pouch. A yeah, pouch, they have suggested that pouch. all the manufacturers manufacturer should give pouch. Yes. Not but uh, everybody may not give, so at that time you have to put it into a wrapper, but newspaper not in plastic as well. If we buy the basket and, uh, and we start the, do you have a printed, uh, yes. Method? Yes. Like when to that harvest, yes. how to do it? Yes. It's there with the basket? Yes. The yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. And in case we need some uh, help, you can call it. So that number is there? Yes. In that. Yes. If the entire society wants to take it, can they approach you from the basket? Yes. yes. You can do that. Okay. Directly to your organization? Yes. Right? What is the minimum capacity of biogas plant, the smallest possible 
we have uh, in data instead of social sciences one class actually you can have even 5 kilo 10 kilo 20 kilo that kind of bias ones are also a bit expensive but uh, for society you can have 100 kilo bias ones uh, there are domestic biogas plants also available, of capacity one and a half kg to two. As she said, along with the gas stove, it is a little expensive. It is 25,000 rupees. But then it takes care of uh, one household's very uh, price. That is called a digester. Digester plus a uh, stove complete, it costs 25,000. This is Kabir Yes, Kabir It is uh, by fly, fly catcher technologies, and that appliance is called Dead Co. Can you give me the name of and address of their society? <laughs> I am one of the committee 
I am searching of that. I am uh, really I am searching this uh, such type of premises in all over Mumbai. I have already communicated my orders to the, my assistant engineers also, just to identify that type, that kind of societies and give it to the medicals. You find out all societies which have got OC and. Let's come to that. Why are you not yeah, he has got yes. No, he has got a mic. <laughs> Even though uh, before giving the OC, he has to construct a compost pit over there. Yeah. Yes. But there, after the residents take the position over, they are reluctant to uh, do the compost work, composting of wet waste in that premises. Since which year? Uh, in 2007, we have enrolled that condition in IOD. How OC is given then? Is they have shown their compost pit. And compost pit, no, 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 in field also. They are constructing compost pit over there. Okay. But there is no compost. There is no, no, residence is all over there. Those who are on the mic will get the residence. You can raise the hands, the mic will come to you. Okay, go ahead. So hold it like this. Hold it like this. G dot word. The garden department is there. They have trimmed up trees in the Lady Jamshedji Road last week. Till now they have not removed the green wet from there. Whenever they contact them, they are telling us that we are short of stuff. We don't have vehicle with us. So last one week they removed on the road. They trimmed on the road. Have you contacted the assistant commissioner of that ward? Session Commission, we contacted the Garden Department. Make a complaint to the Assistant Commissioner also, if they are not responsive. But as far as, once again I am telling you, as far as the SWM Department is concerned, if you get, if you do not receive any response from Assistant Engineers, AHS, Sub-Engineers, you call me at any time. Yes? Hello. Yeah, uh, regarding the property tax, we had submitted one uh, proposal to BMC. Now, where do we stand? Mm -hmm. Ribbit. Higher Ribbit, authorities. Ribbit. No, but higher authorities. We have With authority. higher authority. It's okay, but can you take up a message? Even we'll write to Mrs. Decision Dara. is not yes. As an incentive, decision is not uh -huh. permitted. Uh, Mr. Ashok Rao was also present in that meeting. We have discussed this issue in detail. Yeah. We have submitted it's our awesome proposal. Yeah. So we have to pursue them. Yes. So about uh, in plastic bags, mm. from time to time we hear that they are banned, but they are freely available. Anyone is using them. Why cannot the BMC crack down on this? The manufacturers. The right. Manufacturers. Manufacturers, as far as concerned, MPCB is the regulating authorities. And uh, before that. Make a habit yourself not to use the plastic bags from the vendors and not to demand the plastic bags over there. Okay. But when we order stores from the Bania and they deliver home, they come in those flimsy clear plastic bags. Now what can we do? Oh, why don't you provide your cloth bags to them? But when you as far as grass, some grass munch, in my building with the grass munch, I don't take a motor letter, they suckle a couple of pictures through it. They are not using uh, plastic bags over there. How? Paper is not here. Which law? In many cities, this law is there and they are banned. We are also banned, no? Above the below 50 percent, below 50 microns. That care is taken by the shops and establishment department for banning the plastic over there. Yes. We are taking the rounds, rates to the manufacturers along with MPCB officials and also shops and establishment officials also. Even though. Since it is coming from Mundar, any further issue? Yes, you are very well aware about it. We would like to know something about your waste to electricity. Uh, that is not concerned with me, that is concerned with our project department. They are working on that waste to energy project. So, yes, we are thinking on that one only. And in su such type of projects, we are taking at uh, Taloja and Aroli also. Well, so waste yeah. to energy itself. So. The other thing is, you know, there is this uh, thing being said that potholes are filled. Can be filled with plastic to prevent uh, potholes. That plastic can be used in the premix. 
in the premix because we have so many in the premix premix means what uh, the hot metal mix with the hot bitumen yes but uh, in 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 mumbai most of the roads are concretized now but there is still problems of There are uh, many uh, uh, market places which are not authorized, but they are there. Now, uh, for example, I stay in Nana Chow. There is a like, Bhaji Gandhi, which collects every day two truckloads of cut uh, vegetables, which are waste. Vegetable waste. Yeah. Golden waste. At that level itself, forget about the residents. Now, that every day two truckloads are going. Now, anything on that? We are just now. I told you we are planning to install biogas plant over there uh, in consultation with Assistant Commissioner Market. Do you have a reaction? Why don't you? No, one of one of the things that he is talking about that waste is created by the street vendors, and then that is collected. That becomes two trucks. I mean two trucks. Two trucks. So you know, he, according to your own uh, rules. You should be compelling the street vendors to keep separate baskets and then uh, collect it. But they are even though they are keeping the baskets, they but they are delivering the their, their waste to the vehicles. They have an association where everyone puts in the around 10, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30,
ऐसा कुछ नहीं है जबरदस्ती की ये होने के बाद में बी एम सी को ही देना चाहिए इफ यू आर एबल टू डिस्पोज यूर वेस्ट एट यूर प्रिमाइसिस इन इट्स इट्स यूर प्रिमाइसिस No problem. That will help to the corporation. That, that's why I always say that when Mumbai will become really clean, waste makers will lose their job. But then in that case, you should give them composting job or something like that. Yes. Net skills and all that. Yes. You should remain waste picker actually. But Jyoti, instead more people. Yeah, younger sir, I have a question. Ah. There's waste available. Ah. Uh, more right now. Marshals, you have to deploy. Cut. 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 And they are empowered to, yes. and they know uh, each and every building in their locality. Mm. So why don't you know they use they be used more fruitfully to ensure that the societies and the buildings are in segregation. We have already empowered our jewels no, to make the fine so. It must happen. It's not happening, sir. So. We should be empowered to. They are empowered to. Uh, uh, we impose have fine, but they are not imposing. Ah, uh, imposing. In addition to, we are already given their authorization. Again, already we have imported our jewels. They are going to be issued in the circulars also. Even though I have uh, mentioned that there is a lot of waste in the city, but we have already given their authorization. Yes, yes. 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 Not now. But you sent us a letter. We wrote back. So something should happen. But the letter has not come to me. No, no, no. Not you. But we have written to the concerned department. So much waste is thrown by the hawkers. We walk in the morning on Ranade Road or LJ Road, and who is responsible for this waste? As far as. Collection point of view, NCGM is responsible for collecting the waste, whatever it may be generated within the Mumbai jurisdictions. If you have any collection, any complaints regarding these, you may contact Assistant Commissioner G N O R for uh, against the vendors and making the provision for collection, collection or depositing the um, vegetable waste over there. But in most of the market, we have already deployed. Just now, I have told you. We have already deployed the stationary compactor of having 12 to metric, 12 to 15 metric ton per day generation. They have to deposit their waste in that in that to the stationary compactor over there. In near full market, tower market is there. We have already installed one uh, stationary compactor there. They are delivering their waste into the uh, that compactor directly over there. Stationary means Iva. Iva. I am not to um, uh, that one. Make the should I mention the name of that one? Right. I want to complete the musical chairs. I will request Mr. Yamgar. Most of the questions are over, so you can occupy the chair and I will occupy the mic. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now uh, I would like to thank each one of you. because uh, not only that you came to the session but you asked some relevant questions to both the speakers i think all of us are better enlightened about how to segregate our weight waste and we uh, dry waste may not be that you have got the solutions for how to dispose of the dry waste uh, those will come in the long run uh, but now some of you will be empowered from tonight to use nisargadur to convert your weight waste into compost And those who have booked it, kindly pay the amount to whom should uh, uh, yeah. okay. Jyoti Ma'am herself is there. Her assistants are gone. She is there. Shaivi will, collect well, will collect it. Okay, Shaivi, can you? Uh, Shaivi will collect it on behalf of you. So she will collect uh, for 50 rupees from each one of you who have booked, and then you can carry your uh, nisargadur and implement 
converting wet waste into compost. And uh, I must thank uh, all the waste waste activists who initiated this process. We have come to this stage. We will be hearing more from the BMC, uh, what can be the policy. We only request Mr. Yamgar to see that he is one of the person who is responsible to frame the policy. That at least by May end we should get the policy so that yes. we all of us know that what is our part. Most of us who are here, they want to work in cooperation with the corporation. So be rest assured for that. Some of them must have asked you some questions which may have sounded that they are against the BMC's official uh, policy or something. It is not like that. We want to work with you. And if you come out with such policy, uh, together all of us will make your policy a success. But we want only two things from your policy. One, segregation and compulsion. And second, no littering on roads. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you all of you.